So, you want to enjoy the benefits of the flea market. For example, reloading your ammunition in a couple of seconds. But, as we all know, it's locked behind level 10. Then, leveling as fast as possible also increases trader levels, so that you don't have to pay 13,000 for a recoil pad. What the frick? So in the second video I'm gonna show you how you can maximize your XP gained, very detailed. So you can maximize the XP no matter what playstyle you have. So this is gonna work for them absolute chats that just farm factory all day, but it's also gonna work just as well for people that, well, adopt more of the uh, rat playstyle. So first off we have 5 categories in which we can gain XP. That's first eliminations, then looting, then healing, then traversing, and probably the biggest one, missions. So let's start with eliminations. Maybe the most obvious one, but there are still things to learn here. So first off, whenever you kill something, you get a minimum of 100 experience points. Now this experience is dependent on the difficulty of your enemy. For example, a raider or a Rashala, Rashala for example, gives you around 400 experience if you kill him. So if you see some raiders and or a boss, just always at least throw a nade in there. It could get you insane amount of experience. But there is a way to more than double that. And that's just if you hit the head. Because if you land a headshot, you get a minimum of 120 experience points on top of the experience you already get for the kill. So farming scav snipers, for example, for Mosin, because that thing is a freaking laser. It's amazing for gaining experience. And this is again dependent on your enemy. For example, Rashala and the boys give you, again, way more. They can get you up to 600 XP per headshot. And that's how you can get 1000 XP per kill. Then there is the streak bonus, which I have no idea how it actually works, but it seems to be around 20 to 30% of your kill XP. Yeah, basically, the more you kill, the more you get there. That was pretty basic. Now on the looting part, we have some more sneaky things and exploits we can do. Now first off, we have the search XP, and that's as you would expect. As soon as you search the gray area, for every item that you uncover, you get search XP dependent on the item you find. For example, medical items are very good, while ammunition doesn't give you any. Duplicates also give less. When you search a body, you also get search experience. And this is basically dependent on how much gear is on that body. And of course, the value of the gear. It doesn't seem to be dependent on player level. As you can see, this player here gives me 340 experience points, but this guy who is around half his level gives me more because he has more gear. And the reason why you get the search XP instantly is pretty simple. Imagine all those areas were grayed out, like in every other container. You would have to search them first, but since they are uncovered instantly, you get all the search XP for all the items that you see as soon as you check the body. So how can we use this? Basically, whenever you run around and see a dead body, at least go there and press F. Somebody in the comment section a funny analogy about it that Whenever you pass a dead body, you have to pay respect to them by pressing F. <laughs> I really love that and it's easy to memorize. And of course, depending on how much gear he still has on him, you get more or less experience. So when playing in squads, make sure that everybody has checked the body before you pick something off it, as other players will lose XP otherwise. So next we have looting experience and there it gets even more interesting. The basics first, of course, whenever you pick something up, you get looting experience. And there the same rules apply as with the search XP. Also, let's say you manage to kill somebody. What is actually worth picking if you're only after the experience? Now let's see. Helmets? Nah. Masks? Face covers? Nah. Armor? No. Rig? No. Backpack? No. But the weapon is almost every time the item that gives you the most experience points. So always pick the weapon, even if you don't want them, you can throw it on the ground later. And there is a cool way you can kinda abuse that. So if you're playing in a squad, all you can do is at the beginning of raid or whenever in a raid, just everybody on squad throws his gun on the ground and the other person picks it up. There you go, free XP. If it's modded, around 200 are possible. <laughs> That's a kill with headshot, worth of XP in 10 seconds, just like that. And funny enough, this also goes for backpacks. If you swap backpacks, you get the looting experience for all the items that your body has in his backpack. So just pick it up and throw it back on the ground and there you go. Another 200 experience points in a couple of seconds. And again, whenever you come across their bodies, at least quickly swap the weapons. So you get the search XP for that. Can really accumulate to a lot. 
And also really pick everything you find in raid. You can throw it on the ground later, you can organize later or throw it on the ground instantly. It's completely up to you how you want to handle it, but pick it up. Now for the items to keep, if you're below level 10, I recommend that you keep the items that let you make a quick back out of it. Items that you need for missions. Items that you can trade for gear. And items you can use instantly in your next raid. Because you have to realize you don't have access to good gear except for trades usually at the beginning. So trades are the bread and butter at the start. Because let's imagine you, yeah, you have a water filter in your pouch. And you unfortunately died. Now instead of a shotgun, an armor or whatever. Yeah, you have your freaking water filter that you can throw at enemies. So what good is it now? Yeah, it's worth a lot later, but not to you currently. So really focus on items that you can use now. Next we have healing and here it gets really interesting. So my buddy here is going to help me demonstrate some things and I think he enjoys shooting me a bit too much. Do I need to be worried? <laughs> anyway, light bleeding. If you treat that, 25 experience right there. Alright, next shot and we got heavy bleeding. This gives you amazing 40 experience if you treat it. Then we have a broken leg for example and if you use a splint on that you get 30 experience currently. And this is always the same so it doesn't get less if you treat it multiple times. And that's a very important point. So for example if you feel safe at the exit you can ask your buddy to cause some bleeding and heal it up until you feel like you have enough experience gain. Or you could go the hardcore way and just you know farm experience off of damaging yourself on a barbed wire for example. And at first I thought like, yeah, whatever, this is never gonna be a viable option. But then, holy sh**, is that a lot of experience. Because 500 experience in one minute, if you survive, that's around 800. If you do that for an hour, that's almost 50,000 experience points right there if we survive. But it's also pretty costly, so... I think it's something you can add to your playstyle, but I wouldn't recommend farming it like that. There's also another way to benefit from healing. So let's say you get killed. Now therapist offers you the option to heal yourself for a certain amount of rubles, but don't take that. Go back and use healing items to heal yourself instead. This gives you around the same amount of experience that you lost in health points, so 3-400 experience each time. And one little tip here is that if you have access to a grizzly kit, which usually costs around 30,000 currently on the flea market, you can actually save rubles because your grizzly kit lets you heal up up to five times. Which means it will cost you around 6,000 rubles per heal by therapist charges 8,000. So you can save ruble that way. You could also just not heal the bleeding then and start your next trade and basically heal against the bleeding. This way you can get a lot of experience points on treatment but it's risky so just be aware that it's not safe to do. <laughs> but I have to say it worked quite well. I was doing a raid as usual so I managed to kill somebody and during whole, the whole thing I was just constantly healing. I wasn't sure if his body was still around so I didn't want to loot him right away but I wanted the search XP so quickly press F and keep going. 300 experience right there. Then I looted them, picked of course every weapon once, kept healing until I ran out of heals. Then I just fixed my bleeding and kept going with the raid as usual. And as you can see in the end here, I made around 900 experience points in healing with the survival factor that's 1500 experience points for running around with a bleeding. So it is an option, but I think it's not for everybody. We have also food and drink consumption experience. It's just the amount of points that you restore when using food in raid. It's, so it's not that much, but whenever you find something that you can consume, just do it. More XP. Plus you level metabolism, which you need later for your hideout. Then we have traversing the map and there's a really interesting one first off, that's the exploration bonus. There are certain points on the map that give you exploration bonuses XP every time you visit them in a new raid. So help each other out and share all the spots you know in the comment section below. And then there's the probably most important one, that's the survival bonus. Whenever you survive, you get 1.5 times the experience from the whole raid. So whenever you feel like you have a lot of XP, try to get out alive. I know it's dark off, it's damn hard and can go south very fast, but still try.
So next one are missions and this is a very potent way to gain XP. Especially at the beginning the quests are usually phrased like yeah kill this many from X and get me item Y or whatever. So the basis of the missions at the start are usually always the same. So you can do them while playing just regularly. And with a bit of luck you gain a ton of experience. Some quests are a bit more tricky if you don't know the whereabouts but there are tons of guides. I will do some on my own or otherwise just check the wiki. Alright now let's put everything together. What should you do to maximize your XP? First off I want you to loot everything. Be Kirby okay? Whenever you salute you go and get that shit. Really pick everything, as we talked about, just throw it on the ground if you don't need it, but pick it once. It takes just a couple of seconds and it will add up to a lot, I promise you. Then if you find food or drinks that aren't too valuable, just eat them. Depending on your hydration and hunger level, this can actually give you quite a bit of XP extra. Then depending on how skilled you are at PvP, avoid fights or just head straight into them but anyway if you manage to kill somebody make the most out of it so go to his body at least pick his weapon go through his stuff and pick whatever you can you can throw it on the ground again and with scaffs if you have the time aim for the head then again be kirby <laughs> switch the weapon and so on and don't get mad if you get shot by a camper or anything look at it this way just more treatment xp <laughs> Then, with the gear you have and the really bad ammunition at the start, it's not the best idea to face a group of PMCs. But if I'm offered a chance, of course I'm gonna do a sneaky peeky. But be aware of your vulnerability. Here for example, his two buddies were now camping in this corner. I didn't have nades. There's no way I would survive that push, so I went all the way around. And by the time I was there, they, they left anyways, but Really, you have to be aware of your vulnerability with your starting gear and bad ammunition. So, so I recommend you don't try to be Rambo at the start, okay? <laughs> Especially because the looting experience is even way more than the kill XP. And this guy gave me around 800 to 1000 loot XP alone. Then don't underestimate scaffs. Those guys can be nasty. Get all the search XP that you can and try to extract alive. And this was by no means an amazing run, but it shows the principle pretty well. For example, you can see that I made way more looting XP than combat XP, even though I killed six people, five of headshots. Or look at this one, where I actually died and still had over 2000 looting XP, a ton of treatment XP, because I was dehydrated, because I forgot my water, but it was an amazing opportunity to farm XP. Just in case if you're wondering what this 1.22 factor thing is below, that's a library. That's a topic for later. So before we end the video, a quick way to get gear at the beginning is play with your scaff. If you're not really fond of PvP, then just spawn and head straight to the exit, a factory that works pretty decent when you get the bunker exit. So spawn, head out, there you go, you get gear every 20 minutes. Alright, and that's it for this video. If you liked it, of course, smash the like button, share the video, really appreciate it, as this video took a long time to make. It took me weeks to get all the clips. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye! Oh, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.